you know, mushrooms are part of a, uh, a phylum that's, you know, that are that are, that are funguses that are, uh, you know, different than animals and plants. They are, they function in multiple, multiple ways, but basically mushrooms or funguses are the undertakers of the world. What they do is they take dead material and turn it back into that which is now ready to support life. In other words, they take it, they transition it. So at the end, when let's say an animal dies on the ground, first of all, the insects come and then the microorgan and microorganisms have already been there. Uh, and the funguses and in the end it's the fungus and the fungus actually take it and turn it back into healthy wonderful soil and and, and things like that you know that's and we that's why 10 percent of our of our gut is uh, uh funguses we gotta have ca candida and stuff like that yeah and you know one of the questions that always comes up is well gosh i have candida can i eat mushrooms yeah they're really different they're really it's real they're they're different just like a horse is not the same as a snake i can ride a horse i can't ride a snake i wouldn't want to ride a snake Especially not the ones around here. They got some cobras. Fortunately, cobras don't want to mess with us. Fortunately, yeah, you got candy. That doesn't mean if you're eating portobello mushrooms, they're gonna you're gonna start growing portobello mushrooms out of your ears. No, 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 no. It's not like that at all. And they're not going to contribute to the candida problem because the candida problem is really a dysbiosis. Okay, and it's not a candida problem. Candida is opportunistic. It's taking advantage of the fact that a lot of the good guys are gone now because whatever we've been taking antibiotics or whatever we've been doing. Basically, when we're talking about mushrooms and the medicinal part of it, we're talking about something called beta glucan. And beta glucan is uh, an array of glucose molecules struck to get, uh, strung together uh, with beta beta bonds, which are different than alpha bonds. They have amazing, amazing, amazing properties, and there's all sorts of them. But these beta glucans, they're on the cell wall of funguses mushrooms yeast they're on the cell, the cell wall but they're also in grains and other things they're not just in in uh, mycotic organisms which are funguses the really interesting thing about it is is that they've been shown and and it is the only this is the only medicinal substance that's been sh shown to be effective at restoring health in earthworms lizards amphibians fish and, and mammals and humans everyone okay pretty amazing stuff okay and why is it and that's because there's actually a receptor on our macrophages and other t cells and things like that for it now what's very interesting uh even though it's kind of there's a there's an, it's that receptor is not there for it there's there's two basic receptors that can that can pick up the beta glucan but because beta glucan is not something that's made in the human body it actually stimulates both the innate and adaptive immune system so it stimulates the immune systems that's what that's its major effect and so the answer is absolutely yes it can be used can be used so a direct effect on neutrophils macrophages natural killer cells and dendritic cells that's it you've done it you take care of that you know, it's going to do that. Now, the beta glucans, usually it's the one, three chains and branched, or it can be one, four, or the one and six. But what's really um, interesting is that the um, the one that seems to be the most medicinal is the one, three, not more, much, much, much more so than the one, one, four, and one, six of the beta glucans. So yeah, can I take just blue beta glucan? Yeah, if it was extracted properly and you have good, you have, you have, you have, you have, your, you have a reliable company that did it with cold and not heat. Yeah, right, then yeah. But uh, what's very, what's very amazing is that for about 30, 40 years now in China and Japan, it's been considered conventional and you write it by prescription. They've taken one from the uh, from the uh, maitake. Was it maitake or the shiitake? Anyway, I can't remember. They took it and they um, they've actually ta they've isolated the one aspect of it and they've turned it into a medicine. And it's been really, really amazing with breast cancer, uh, breast fermenting cells, co colon fermenting cells and all, all the different ones. Right. Uh, it also makes whenever they're going to do chemo or radiation, it makes it easier and better and they have less side effects. So they're really good. But, you know, <clears throat> you know, the main ones are the reishi, the uh, turkey tail, which is also called Coriolis uh, versicolor, right? Shiitake and maitake. Those are the main ones. There's others. There's agaricus blasii, which is really good, too. Uh, but those are the main ones. You know, how does it work? Well, when you ingest them, they find their way into the small and uh, through the stomach. And they and they they arrive at the duodenum relatively unchanged, and then they're picked up either the, ep, the the epithelial cells lining the duodenum, or they're picked up by macrophages, which are white blood cells lining the, the and that's when the, how they get started, and they transport it all over, and they do all kinds of amazing things. But anyway, so the two kinds of receptors that it binds to, one is called the toll-like two receptors, which are very very important, and uh, the C-type lectin receptors. Yeah, and so and they're all in pyrus patches in our gut. And so, you know, lectins are not all bad. 
they're necessary for life too. Now these toll-like two receptors are receptors that are on white blood cells that allow them to know there's something that's entered the body that needs to be eliminated. Okay, if you activate that system, and that's all that's happening. We got to restore balance, restore balance, restore balance, and God makes a condition known as fantastic health. That's what it is. The glory always goes to God. Always goes to God.